Welcome to another video and welcome to a new destination, Japan. I've been here for the last six days with Lufthansa exploring one of the many destinations that they fly to and making what should be a pretty unique video for them as well as taking you guys along with me on the way. So my whole aim when making travel videos is to create something that the people who watch will find interesting, hopefully, or potentially even inspiring. But let me tell you something. The video that I'm here in Japan making with Lufthansa is going to allow me to share my travel experiences with you in a way that will bring us closer than ever. And that's because, as I was traveling around, taking in the sights, the sounds, the tastes, I was wearing this nifty bit of tech, which was monitoring the signals produced in my brain and capturing the emotions I was experiencing. Is that not the future of travel documenting? I think it is. I'll tell you all you need to know about where you can watch that video and check out how my brain and emotions were responding to my experiences here in Japan a little bit later on in this video. But for now, Let's see what I got up to. Okay, so it is our first morning here in Japan. We're in Tokyo and right now we're on our way to the Tsukiji Fish Market, the world-renowned Tsukiji Fish Market. This is going to be a place where I think we're going to open up our senses to Japan, get the taste, get the smells, and I think it's a very good place to start. I said it was world renowned and the reason for that is, one of the reasons for that anyway, is because they do a big tuna auction here and some of these bits of tuna go for millions and then they're cut up and sent around the world to make some of the world's best sushi. is the Hashimi Inari, which is a shrine made up of a thousand gates. We've started here and we've just come up to the top of here and at this point I'm thinking that's a lot of gates. It's not quite a thousand but it's getting there. And then you see this map and you realise how much more, how many more gates there are all the way right up to the top of Mount Inari. And apparently, it's a day's walk to get to that temple at the top. Something that is definitely going to get added to the list, but not for today because we've got lots more of Kyoto to see. day in Kyoto to get into experience some traditional Japanese culture with the likes of some theatre, some music and a puppet play which was awesome. Now I certainly know that as I was watching that I was feeling different things, I was enjoying it, I was sort of taking different things away from it but I'm actually looking forward to seeing exactly what those things were because I don't think without this I'd be able to label what they are but luckily this is going to do that for me. I won't lie to you I'm feeling it after that 4am rise to get the bullet train from Tokyo down to here so it's going to be time to hit the hay pretty soon but luckily we get to explore some more of Kyoto tomorrow with the bamboo forest. Now I've seen some pictures and it looks great. <laughs> So this is our second day in Kyoto and we get the chance today to see a bit more of the rural side of Japan. So we know Japan as this sort of high sky rise, neon lights, hustle and bustle of the city, but there's also incredibly famous side of just stillness and tranquility and serenity in the more rural sides, the mountains, the lakes, that sort of thing. And that is what we're gonna get stuck into today. And what is more serene than a bamboo forest? Quick disclaimer, 
If you don't like sweaty men or sweat stains on t-shirts, probably look away now because it is hot. Right, so we've moved into another temple. But there's an interesting thing about this rock garden is that if you count the number of rocks, if you can count 15, then you've reached enlightenment. And the reason is because in Buddhism, 15 sort of symbolizes perfection. 15 is like the number of perfection. So if you come here, you can count 15, you're enlightened. If you count less, you're not quite there yet and you've got stuff to do. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how many I count. I'm only getting 14. I'm clearly not enlightened yet. Okay, so we're back at Kyoto Station, about to jump on a bullet train back to Tokyo. It's been a little bit of a whistle-stop tour here in Kyoto, but I have loved every minute of it, because Kyoto has such a good way of holding on to Japanese culture and old traditions and sort of passing it on to the visitors. I've learned so much. I already know that at some point I will come back here and I will stay here for much longer and take in a hell of a lot more because there's so much to get. It's been great to see more of the traditional side of Japan as well as the rural side, see the beautiful countryside and all the things that come with that. But for now, it's back to Tokyo. Checking out some more of Tokyo, we've now found ourselves in the very busy, the frantic area. I mean, just look at it, it's a little bit mental, I won't lie. And we're in Takashita Street, which is popular all over Japan, for where people come for the quirkiness, the pop culture. So we're going to get stuck in there and may as well stick this on and see how I feel about it. Now there's a lot of Japanese food that I eat in England that I haven't tried in Japan yet. So I'm going to make a little hit list while I'm in this food court of my three favourite types of Japanese food. First up, Ryoza. Prawn tempura. Check. Last but not least, of course, sushi. Mmm. Oh, that is decent. That is decent. time in Japan is coming to an end. It has been an incredible whirlwind trip and I know for sure that I'm definitely going to be coming back here. So now's the part where I tell you where you can watch the video that we've been making with Lufthansa. The link is in the description below and on that page you can also try your hand at a brain activity that tells you where your subconscious wants to travel. And on top of that you can get a flight discount just for trying it out. But you need to be quick because there are a limited number of discounts available. It doesn't end there though, also on that page, you can get the chance for yourself and a mate to win return flights to a Lufthansa destination of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Look, seriously, why are you still here? Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video.